guess who's back? Back again. Quasi's back. Tell a friend. So now with all silliness behind us, let's get back on track. This is a project for the circle jig that I did a few years back. We are going to revisit and rebuild this circle jig. Um, the only reason I'm doing this is I did get a lot of comments on like measurements. Uh, some people had a hard time on understanding my directions and everything else. So I'm going to go back and revisit it and rebuild this. First of all, I did get a lot of negative feedback and a lot of positive feedback. The negative feedback that I got was people thinking I'm ripping off shifting lands uh, with making the circle jig. Now, I didn't make any money off the last video. I'm not going to make any money off this video. This is just a way to show you guys how to make your own circle jig without having to spend $40 to $50, especially if you're paying that overseas shipping cost it's going to cost you. Now, the guys at Shifting Lands know that I have made this, and they understand that I did this because I can find a cheaper way to do it. But in this one, we are going to redesign and rebuild it anyways. So this is the original one. This is the 12 by 16 one I made, and we're going to go with a 12 by 12 this time. And that's where we're going to go with that. So basically what we're going to use, just like that board, is an MDF or hard board material. This is a 6x6, six six, but of course I need a 12x12, 12 12, which mine are still on their way here. These are about two millimeters thick and you want to use this. You don't want to use chipboard, which I can show you that. It's basically a thicker piece of cardboard and you could use this, you could, but uh, after a while wear and tear is probably going to get to it and it might not hold up very well. So I'm just ordering the 12x12, 12 12, which I think is like $4 for a board. So I don't know how well you guys can see this, but I will be doing a close-up picture of this so you can see this design. Now, I used a program called Autodesk to design this. And it is a very expensive program, so I don't expect you guys to go download it. It's something I've had, and I really like using it. And I will be using this program for some of my crafts in future projects. Now, this is going to be the new design for it. And we are going to go to their website, which is called autodesk.com. And on that website, there is a free program called DWG True View. And you can actually get a copy of the file from me, which best bet would be to join my Facebook page, Quasi's Bell Tower, and then just message me and I can send you the file so you can do this. But we're gonna go to the website now and I'm gonna show you how and where to download this program so I can send you those files. So this is the website, www.autodesk.com. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to free products, click on that. Now that we are on this screen, you will go down to find product and you will type in DWG and it should come up true view view if it doesn't go ahead and type in the rest and then click on that so then it will bring you here to the two results that will more likely come up and then you will click on see more and then click on get it now and then it will bring us to another page and what you'll do is you'll scroll down to where it says dwg true view and click on download now, I leave it at Windows 64 bits, and I put it on English. But the other languages, if I'm correct, are French and Japanese. So those are your choices. Then you will click on Download, and it will bring you to the screen to download it. You'll click Save, Run, or Run It, depending on what you want to do. And then go ahead and install it. Once you have downloaded and opened the program, you'll have here where it'll be like open files now i already have some recent stuff i've been working on uh ship design which will be a future project and then here we have the circle jig so we'll go ahead and click on that once the file is uploaded properly you'll go to where it says plot you'll get a little message here but just ignore that and then you will go to where it says printer plotter you'll go to where it says name you'll click on that and find your printer which mine is a desk jet 1500 series it's pretty old 
and then after that you will go to where it says plot area and click on what to plot you'll want to go to windows I find it to be the best option for anything on here and then what you will do is I just scroll out a little bit with my scroll bar and then I just click here and make a box to go around it click here apply layout and then I'd hit OK and it should print to your printer just fine and it will give you the biggest view so you can read the file without any problems once you are printed it should look like this now I do have the standard and metric measurements on this I hope it's easy for you to understand if you guys have any questions you can message me on Facebook at Quasi's Bell Tower and I will help you with the best I can. Now one thing I will mention about this before I go on to the next thing is where it says finishing nail all I use is a fine nail maybe a half an inch maybe an inch big but it's just a finishing nail one that you would use on trim or on molding for fine work and if you want to I would get a very thin drill bit and drill your hole before you put the finishing nail in because when I originally did this for the 12 by 16 I centered it and everything else and as I was hammering the nail through I kind of damaged the circle jig just a little bit and I did not quite like that but it worked out just fine so I think your best bet is to drill a small hole before putting your finishing nail in so before I get too far ahead of myself another thing I want to explain is this is the original circle jig and this is the part you want to keep here this is the six inch deep here but what you want to do basically with this new project is you can get rid of this section right here you just go flush right down through and it would be flat so it would be a 12 by 12 depending on what you buy for material i will put links down to the 12 by 16 mdf board um, the only thing is it's like ten dollars for one sheet and the 12 by 12 that i have coming in is only like under four dollars and i will put a link to that one too so you can decide which one you want to do so before I end this video, one more thing I would like to explain, which is important, is you're going to need your quarter inch dowel. Now I placed it a half an inch up from the edge here up to here. And this is of course on the back side of the circle jig. Now it's a quarter inch. I can't remember. I might have sanded this down so it would fit in the peroxon cutter. Uh, smoothly where it was tight enough but not too tight so before you put this onto the board make sure you test it in your proxon and make sure it will fit and it slides smoothly and you're happy with it before you go and glue this super glue this onto this okay so don't get too carried away I mean the first time I made this I'll show you guys nobody's perfect you know us crafters ain't always perfect first time I did it I actually put it on the top side here you can see the glue damage and where I drew the line which I should have done it on this side but sometimes I get ahead of myself and I make a lot of mistakes but nobody's perfect so I will put a link up to the original circle jig that I did a few years ago so you can watch that video and then watch this one and hopefully you will understand uh, the measurements and everything else but like I said once again just get a hold of me on Quasi's Bell Tower on Facebook message me and I'll help you out the best I can breaking news Quasi just grew a brain and realized that, hey, I bet you there's a converter program out there to take the .dwg file and convert it to a JPEG. And guess what? He has done it. So there is no reason to download the DWG TrueView program unless you want to. And thank you for watching. So I hope this video was entertaining and helpful. And I hope to see you guys make your own circle jig. And until next time, ring that like button like a hunchback. Until next time.